So uh, we will continue our topic from the definition of taxonomy. Okay, that uh, what is taxon? Taxon or its plural taxa are the unit used in the science of the biological classification or the taxonomy. Taxa are arranged in a hierarchy from kingdom to subspecies. Okay. A given taxon ordinarily including several taxa, lower rank, and you all know that uh, kingdom, phylum, plant, uh, phylum, order, family, genus, species, and subspecies. All, all these are the taxa. And or single a species or a family is called as taxon. Cool? Very easy. This is used for the naming of the uh, species, used in the nomenclature of uh, organisms. Okay? Species, we will see about the species concept, species definition. And uh, we discuss about the uh, evolutionary concept and the ecological concept and genetic concept before. Now we will focus on the speciation. Speciation. Speciation is the formation of new species or when a new a particular species form is termed as speciation. Subspecies are the groups that are first stage of the speciation. Individuals of different species sometimes interbreed, but they produce many sterile male offspring. Before starting uh, my definition, I just want you to look at the diagram, at the picture, this image. What are all these? These all are tigers, okay? These are the tigers. We can call it as tigers, one species. But there are certain types, furthermore, classification. This is the Siberian tiger, Siberian ibex. We called it as Malayan tiger. This is South China tiger. You see, all of these are tigers. We cannot say this is tiger and this is something else. This is, these all are tigers. They belong, they, these are considered as a one species. But there are slight variations, slight difference, differences in them. Okay. Uh, and we assign them for our E, scientists assign them as a different category that this tiger, this particular tiger is termed as Malayan tiger, this is Siberian tiger, and we signed it as a subspecies group, or this is called as subspecies level. These are assigned under the category of species. Since they cannot, in, uh, they, they rarely interbreed with each other. Siberian tiger cannot interbreed with uh, uh, South Southern tiger or South, South China tiger, okay? And even if they interbreed, they produce sterile offsprings, okay? But at the end, they all are tigers, okay? This is the concept of subspecies. Now they want to say that um, they produce, uh, first of all, the subspecies, uh, they rarely interbreed, and if they interbreed, they produce sterile offsprings. You know that how subspecies or variations are formed. You all know a very common example of Galapagos finches. And we know the process of speciation also, that uh, when uh, species, speciation occurs, due to the uh, geological barriers, due to the formation of the geological barriers, okay? Different species form, which depends upon the environmental or ecological conditions. You see the big size of all the finches, and these finches are different from each other, although they all are considered as finches, okay? They all are finches. They all are in the same genus, but there are different difference in its structure. Okay, the structure of beak and their size, right? You all know this, you are, all are familiar with this example. So uh, same, uh, this said that um, there are natural selection separates incipient species into sibling species. What is incipient species or semi-species? Incipient species and semi-species are the same terms. Incipient uh, species mean that the species that are newly formed or that are begin to form, okay? Uh, that are at the beginning of the formation, okay? So then in the incipient species are also called as sibling species. Since they are same species, but there is, uh, they cannot, uh, they are indistinguishable. Their structure uh, and morphology, if you can see their structure, they have the same structure, they have the same structure, with slight different. They are high, hardly indistinguishable, okay? And sibling species uh, or semi-species or incipient species cannot interbreed and do not produce fertile offsprings. Okay. This is the concept of subspecies and semi-species. You all know that uh, 
the species uh, or originate from some parental species okay and the parent species uh, used to get speciate due to uh, allopatric or sympatric speciation okay uh, due to uh, that one species uh, is present in another location geological location and the another species is present at the other geographical location and with the passage of time they evolved and natural selection operates and select the particular features like this in case of finches this has big uh, this finch has a prominent beak okay has a larger beak size as compared to this finch and how this variation comes through natural selection okay natural selection select the incipient species or newly forming species that are best fit and that contains the characters uh, that make make them suitable according to their environment okay so the species form okay and you see the different formation different forms of one species this is clapigous finches this is formed because, because of this the species speciation sympatric and allopatric speciation are the two types of speciation okay so i hope so these basic concepts are now clear to you if you have any questions you can ask me thank you so much